Uh, what do we do with fear of failure? Everything. As coaches, you're assisting people through the implementation stage. How are they going to achieve their result? In such a way, they start to relax with themselves. And if, you, if people relax, you know what happens. They find their resources. They start to visualize. They, dis they start to use their brain differently. They get tons more inner awareness of what they want and how they can get it. And they start to go for it. They start to take risks to dare, to move beyond uh, that zone of fear. Now, as we continue through a project, maybe we're very successful. We've done a whole part of the project. Maybe we're becoming a leader in the company. And now we hit another zone. This one we call fear of upsetting people. Fear of upsetting people. People like to be comfortable in their zone. That again goes back to the emotional brain. It's present tense, it's either or, and it's what we call a sameness brain. We like the sameness of our life. Same people, same jobs, same ways of working where people admire us the same old way. And when it comes down to having a challenge where people may no longer admire us, where people may actually feel confronted by us, then uh, fear of upsetting people is a big, big challenge for a lot of folks. They don't know how to speak their mind <coughs> in a situation where they might uh, challenge other people's uh, opinions. And we live in a very opinionated world, don't we? So uh, this is a difficult one for a lot of people. They shut themselves down. Even being successful in certain areas, fear of upsetting people is too big a challenge. And as soon as they do, they shut themselves off from their values. They shut themselves off from their commitments. And they play small. Well, in every area, first we've got to see what we want and then see how we might get it. Remember that step? And then there's a key question. See, th this question for some people we ask right at the beginning of the coaching session. How will you know if you've got your result? See, if people are stuck in a commitment area, how will you know if you've got your result? It takes them down to the sensory base. We actually saw one of those situations here. How will you know if you got your result? Well, I'd, I'd start um, actually uh, discovering what I want to say. Maybe it's going to change what I want to say. I'm not sure yet, but I'll start discovering it, and I'll dare to speak. That's um, working with the fear of upsetting people. OK, now the next stage is what we call fear of conflict. And uh, off, often you see that in whole cultures, that um, or business cultures, uh, especially if a certain kind of success has been built, a lot of companies die uh, because they've got a successful product that is now outdated. And products get outdated in about two years now in some areas. And the, nobody wants to not only upset people, but actually provoke uh, conflict in, with the customers, with the markets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These are quite close, but this one here is more widespread and extensive. The person stops not just the communication, but any action towards change. So companies die because they become dinosaurs, still marketing the same old product, and the culture's changed around them. Those are the four gremlins, you guys. That's what we're working with.